The majestic and elegant continent of Africa for far too long has been battered, bruised and deprived of the glory and praise due to her. From her corrupted politicians to her war-torn nations, from the ignorance and the abuse of her people to the violence and sufferings, from the abject poverty and religious bondage to her utter hopelessness and despair, we declare that enough is enough this is where we draw the line. You see, the gospel, which is the message of God's unconditional love and grace, is extending its reach and infiltrating far and wide across our beautiful continent. Africa, we are without an excuse. This is our clarion call to arise to the awakening we so evidently perceive on the horizons. It's time to awaken to truth. It's time to awaken to light and hope. It's time to live and not merely exist. It's time to alter history as being an Africa does not connote lack, nor is it a degrading thing. We have a universal gospel which works the same way in every nation, as God is no respecter of persons. Arise in your newness in Christ Africa, for the third awakening is at hand. Hello, this is Andrew Womack, and I just want to speak to all of you that are a part of our South Africa ministry there. You know, we've got Isaac and Annaline there and uh, also a bunch of people that are working in the office and they have just taken that South African ministry to a new level. And I've had videos that were shared with me about how that they took some of their people and they went to the Democratic Republic of Congo and they had meetings there with 600 pastors in one location, 300 in another. And I mean, some of the testimonies that came out of there were just tremendous, not only of physical healings and things like that, but people getting hold of the truth. They had a lot of these pastors telling people that uh, they had not been preaching the true gospel, that they had been beating people up with religion. And I mean, it was a turning point in their lives. And so these 900 pastors that we reached, they are gonna go back and reach tens of thousands of people the gospel is spreading. And we also have desires to go into Nigeria and into Kenya and uh, all of these African nations. And did you know that South Africa is really the one that's making this happen? You are more prosperous than most of these other regions there in Africa. And our South African office has helped in Zimbabwe and they helped get that ministry going, uh, purchased the furniture and, and just helped in a lot of ways. And those of you in South Africa are not only reaching people in your own nation, but you are reaching people all across the continent of Africa. So I just wanted to thank you for what you're doing. And if you're watching this and you haven't yet joined with us, I would like to encourage you to do so. Sometimes when people get material, they just think about giving enough maybe to cover their material. And even though we appreciate that, and that is a blessing, by you giving more than what it costs to get your material, you're helping us to reach out to these other places. And we literally are seeing tens of thousands of people all over the continent of Africa being transformed by the Word of God. And as Jesus said, it's the truth that you know that sets you free. And religion is just, I mean, it's permeated, it's dominant in Africa. There's lots of people that love God but they don't have the truth of the Word of God. And I believe that God has uniquely positioned this ministry to be able to share these truths with people. We're seeing the fruit of it, and there's just so much more we could do if we had more people helping us. So I just want to encourage you to join up with us, our South African office right there in Cape Town. Become a partner with Andrew Womack Ministries of South Africa, and I promise you it'll help change the lives of many, many people. Hello, my name is Isaac Kakoa, and I'm currently the African Regional Director for Endowomic Ministries and Carey's Bible College. Over the past three years, we have seen an incredible growth worldwide in the ministry, but specifically here in South Africa and on the continent of Africa. And so I would like to take this time to firstly appreciate you, our partner, for your heart and your generous contributions towards this ministry in holding Andrew's hand as we see the lives of many change and transform to the glory of the Lord. We believe that the best of this continent is yet to come, and we believe that more lives are still to be changed and be transformed. And so we would like to share out the vision for the next years with you 
as we believe to see the ministry being present firstly this year in the DRC and we are believing that in the years to come to see the ministry present in Kenya, Nigeria and Ghana. So I would like to call upon you to partner with us through the course of this year as we prepare ourselves to start in the ministry in DRC. Now we are needing quite a lot of money to making sure that we get the ministry started, but I believe that nothing is impossible with God. God has empowered you, our partner, to support in us as we get to take the gospel far and wide. So we love you, we appreciate you. Thank you so much for your heart and your generosity as we see the lives of the many French nations being changed and transformed for the better. Now, let me also say that currently we are broadcasting into 21 French-speaking nations. Andrew's teachings has been translated into French, and man, I tell you that you are gaining ground and you are impacting lives all around the globe. We love you, we appreciate you, and once again, thank you for being part of this ministry and holding Andrew's hand as we take the gospel far and wide.